and then where your ncr where this combination is defined as n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and then uh, r factorial so this is how they define the required the combination right yes Okay, so uh, the coefficient of uh, x to the power 4 in the expansion of, so first we have to expand uh, this thing, right? Yes. So let's say this is uh, 1 plus x and uh, n plus 1, right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then uh, we have to, uh, let's uh, expand uh, this thing. So what would be the first term? First term would be n plus 1, c is 0, and then uh, that would be 1 only, n plus 1, right? Yeah. And then the second term would be n plus uh, 1, c1, one, and uh, 1, n plus 1 minus 1, and then uh, x, right? Yes. And then, uh, Third term would be n plus 1, c2, and then 1, n plus 1, minus 2, and uh, x mm -hmm. squared, and uh, let's say up to, we have to reach uh, 4, right? So what would be that thing? n plus 1, c4, and uh, 1, mm -hmm. n plus 1, minus uh, 4, and then x4. So that is the term that we are looking for, right? Yes. So uh, this is... Uh, this would be because uh, the coefficient are uh, these things, right? So the coefficient mm -hmm. of x to the power 4 is uh, n plus 1 c4, right? And then this is 1 to the power anything, right? That would be what? This would be 1, right? Yes. So the coefficient is only this one and uh, we have to, yeah, we can... Uh, yeah, we can stop at uh, this point or we can just simplify this thing. So what would be this thing, right? It would be n plus 1 factorial, right? And uh, then uh, this would be how much? So this would be n plus 1 minus 4 factorial. And then uh, 4 factorial, right? Yeah. So we can expand this thing. So this uh, the first uh, component would be n plus 1. And then uh, the second component would be n plus 1 minus 1, right? Mm -hmm. Third would be n plus 1 minus 2, and then n plus 1 minus 3, and then n plus 1 minus 4. We'll stop at this point because uh, this is there, right? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this uh, divided by n plus 1 minus 4 factorial. And then uh, 4 factorial is how uh, much? 4 into 3 into 2. And that's it. Right. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. would be cancelled. Right. Yeah. And then uh, we are left with uh, what? We are left with uh, n plus 1. Then this is n. This is uh, n minus 1. And then this is uh, n minus uh, 2. Right. Divided by uh, how much is uh, this thing? 24. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can uh, write this thing as uh, we can uh, simplify this thing more or even we can just uh, stop at uh, this point also. So this is n squared minus 1. Right. And then mm -hmm. this is uh, n squared minus uh, 2n. Or uh, we can uh, further simplify it. But yeah, this is uh, the coefficient. Okay. That was uh, the question, right? We have to write the coefficient of uh, this yeah. uh, thing, x4. So that was uh, the question. Is it uh, clear to you? Yeah. Uh, also, can you do like question six once? I, I did it, but I don't know if like I did it right. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. So, okay, in the expansion of uh, this thing. Okay, so yeah, but, but please uh, note this uh, thing down and then... We'll yeah, sure. Uh, and uh, yeah, I have uh, studied this permutation and combination long way back. I don't know when. Yeah, so it's...
Okay, I wrote it down. Okay, good. So let me just uh, erase uh, this thing, right? So, yeah, so this is, uh, we have to expand uh, this term, right? And then uh, mm -hmm. we can, yeah, so 6a is, let me just zoom in this thing, right? Yeah, so this is uh, x plus y by x and then uh, power 5, right? So uh, we can do this uh, question in uh, many ways, right? One way is that we just take the LCM, right? So this would be x, this would be x squared plus uh, y, and then 5. So in the numerator, this would be this expansion. And uh, in the uh, denominator, we have this uh, x to the power 5. So we expand this thing and divide by x5, x to the power 5. That is uh, one way, or we just expand uh, this thing, right? So yeah, let's just expand uh, this thing only. So this would be what we have to find the term in x to the power six in the expansion of, uh, oh, not this one, yeah. This one, we have to only expand uh, this one. So this would be uh, nc0 or 5c0, right? So this is uh, 5c0. And then uh, x uh, to the power 5 into just uh, y by x to the power 0. So that is 1. And then 5c1. This is x to the power 4 and y by x to the power 1. And then uh, the next term is 5c2. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me it drop. Yeah, so this is x cube, and then this is uh, y by x uh, square, and then next term is uh, okay. You just uh, yeah, we have to write it in steps. So five c three, and then x uh, four y by x, and then uh, this is uh, how much? 3 and then uh, 5c4 x5 uh, Wait, uh, it's not x4, it's x2, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should be decreasing, right? Yeah. Why this is hanging? Yeah. So this is x square and then this is 3 and then this is x1 and then y by x4 uh, and the last one is uh, simply 5c5 and then at x to the power 0 and y by x to the power 5. So this is uh, the expansion and now we have to write uh, all these values, right? So 5c0 yeah. is uh, simply what? That is one, one I guess. Right? So this is uh, x5 and then 5c1 is only 5, right? N. Yeah. So this would be 5 x to the power 4 and uh, y by x, so this part cancels, right? And then uh, this mm -hmm. is uh, how much? This is, I guess, n into n minus 1 by 2, or what is that? Let me just, let's just calculate this thing somewhere. So 5c2. 5c2 would be 5 factorial, and uh, 5 uh, minus 2 factorial, and then 2 factorial. So this is 5, 4, and 3 factorial. And then this is 3 factorial and then 2 factorial. So this one cancels. This 2, 2 is 4, so that would be 10. Right? 10 and mm -hmm. uh, x cube and uh, y square by x square. So this is square will cancel and this would become x only. And then uh, what is uh, the next one? So 5c3, what would be this thing? So 5c3 uh, is uh, 5 factorial, we will directly write. Right, 5 into 4 into 3 factorial 
divided by uh, this is two factorial and then three factorial, same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So this would be again uh, 10. So 10 and uh, x square y by x uh, cube. So this will uh, cancel. Okay, this will uh, cancel this thing. Yeah, this would be cube. So this is uh, canceled. And then the next term is 5C4. How much is that thing? 5 only. So 5C4, uh, that is 5 factorial divided by, let's say, 1 factorial and then uh, 4 factorial. So this would be 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. So you have 5. Right? So 5 and then... Uh, so 5x uh, and then y by x4. Uh, so this would be uh, q, right? Yeah. And then the yeah. last term, 5c5 is only one again, right? So that would be y5 divided by x. So what do we have? We have uh, x5 and then uh, 5x cube y and then uh, 10xy square and then we have uh, 10y cube by x and then uh, 5y4 by x cube plus uh, y5 by x that is uh, the expansion did you get uh, this thing yeah okay so then that's uh, correct right yeah so it's correct then uh, the b part you are uh, talking about right mm -hmm. okay so let's uh yeah this you have already done so let me just erase this thing Okay, so what do we have? Yeah, 6 uh, B part. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, find the coefficients. Of, so we have to find uh, this term. Right, we have to find uh, this term. So we have uh, 2x plus y and then uh, x plus y. Oh, why did I erase that thing? Okay, yeah. Can you tell me what, uh, what was the expansion of uh, that thing? Uh, yeah, x to the power 5. One, one moment. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, slow. Yeah. Okay, so the expansion was x to the power 5 and then 10x4 uh, something. Y, no, it right? was 5, five to the oh, five, 5 cube y. Yeah, 5x cube y. And then uh, 10xy square. And then 10y cube divided by 10, uh, x. And then 5y to the 4 divided by x cube. And then y to the power 5 divided by x to the power 5. Okay. So, yeah, yeah uh, let us uh, only take that term, which will give us x cube y square. So, what is the term that can uh, give us x cube y square? Uh, let's try with this one. This and this won't give, right? Yeah. This and uh, this uh, won't give, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one and this one also, yeah, they, that won't give uh, the desired result, right? And then this mm -hmm. one and uh, this one, uh, yeah, this one will also not give x cube. And this one and this one, yeah. So, yeah. No, the uh, first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, continue. Never first, mind. Yeah, yeah, first term, it won't contribute to this term. Right. 
yeah yeah from first term we cannot uh, get so let's try with this y1 right and yeah. we have to find out uh, coefficient of x cube y square so we have to find out this term so y x5 that's the uh, that uh, will not as uh, that will not give us uh, this term what about this one this one and this one Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that can give us, yeah. Yeah, so this would be uh, 5x cubed by square, right? And the rest of uh, the terms, uh, I guess we won't get, right? So y, y yeah. cube, mm -hmm. and then y4, y5, y6, so yeah. So only this term is uh, there, right? Without doing the whole uh, simplification, that would uh, take a long time. So only, yeah, we uh, try that term, which would uh, give us this uh, term. Right. So, yeah, the coefficient of this thing is uh, 5, right? So, answer is uh, 5. Yeah. yeah. So, this is the answer that you, this is the answer that you got, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah, uh, now let us move on to, yeah, let us move on to this uh, 7b part, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so we have, uh, so the coefficient of x cube in the expansion of uh, this thing, right? So we have to find out uh, the x cube term. 1 plus uh, 2x uh, to the power n, right? And mm. uh, yeah, so again, let us expand this term uh, up to only the x cube uh, term, right? When we reach yeah. this uh, term, then we stop. So first term is uh, nc0, right? And then yeah. uh, 1 to the power n. Second term is nc1 and uh, 1 to the power n minus 1. And you have uh, 2x. And then the next term is nc2, 1n minus 2. And then 2x uh, squared. And then, yeah, this is the term that we want. So 1n minus 3 and then 2x3, uh, right? So this is uh, the term which gives us uh, x cube, right? Mm -hmm. So let's uh, take uh, this term, nc3. And 1n uh, minus 3, whatever power 1 has, that would be 1, right? So 2x cube. So coefficient would be? Coefficient uh, would be nc3 and then 2q. Right. So yeah. what is uh, what is this value? This is uh, n and uh, factorial n minus 3 factorial and then uh, 3 factorial and then uh, 2q. So this is uh, n, n minus 1, n minus 2. And uh, n minus 3, we stop at uh, this point. And then uh, 2q divided by uh, n minus 3 factorial. And then 3 into 2. So this part will cancel, right? Uh, this would become uh, 2 square. And uh, now nothing is canceling, right? Yeah. So, so this would be n n minus 1, n minus 2, and uh, 4 divided by 3. So that is the answer. Right. Okay, clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please uh, note this one down.
Okay. Done. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, let us do the last part. Find n given that uh, oh, find n the given that uh, these two coefficients are equal. So, so what was the coefficient of this a part? Uh, yeah, please tell me. Seven. Uh, what was sir? it? Was n uh, n squared minus one in brackets. Yeah, n squared uh, minus one. Bracket uh, times n square uh, 2n bracket. Plus 2n or minus, minus 2n, right? Or plus 2n. Uh, it was. Yeah, minus, minus. Sorry, I couldn't see you. Yeah. Divided and by then, 24. 24. And yeah. uh, nothing is there in this uh, part, right? Yeah. Okay, so now they are saying that these uh, two coefficients are equal, right? So the coefficients are equal, 7a coefficient equal to 7b coefficient, right? So 7a mm -hmm. coefficient uh, is, uh, let me write it uh, in this way, n, n minus 1, and uh, n, and n minus 2, divided by 24. And uh, this we got n and n minus 1, n minus 2 and divided by 3. Right. So n and n will cancel. n minus 1, n minus 1 will cancel. And n minus 2, n minus 2 will cancel. Right. Yeah. So, so we will uh, get uh, what? We will get n plus 1, right? Divided by 24 equals to 4 by 3. So this 24 goes uh, the other side, right? This becomes n plus 1, 4 into 24 divided by 3. So it's a, so this is uh, 32. So n is uh, 30. Right. That is the answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please uh, note it down. Yeah, then. Okay, so now uh, let us. Let's, uh, do the next uh, question, right? Okay, so what is uh, the next uh, question? Uh, express uh, this in the form of uh, a root 3 plus uh, b root 2, where a and b belongs uh, to uh, the integer, right? Yeah, so let us uh, express uh, these things, right? So what would be uh, these uh, things? So, yeah, let us just expand uh, this thing to the power 5, right? So yeah. root uh, b minus uh, root 2 to the power uh, 5. So we will, uh, yeah, let us just expand uh, this thing. So this would be how much? Uh, 5c0, right? And then uh, this yeah. is uh, root 3 power uh, 5, right? And then, yeah, 
the next term is 5c1 and uh, root 3, 4, right? And uh, then uh, what is uh, this thing? So this is minus root 2 and uh, 1, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next term is uh, 5c2 and uh, root 3, 3 minus root 2 and uh, square. And then uh, the next term, Next term is uh, 5c3, right, uh, root 3, 4, and then uh, minus root 2, power 3. And uh, next one is 5c4, root 3, 5. Oh, what did I? Oh, this would be every time I just uh, increase this thing, right? So, yeah, this is uh, 2. And then uh, 1 and then minus root 2 power 4. And the last one is 5c5. And uh, this is 0. So that is 1 and root 2, 5. So this is uh, the expansion, right? Yeah. First, uh, we expand this thing and then we'll think about uh, this answer. Right. So, yeah, 5c0. So that value we already know. So this is uh, root 3, 5. And then 5c1, yeah, that we, we have also calculated. So 5, root 3, 4, and then uh, minus uh, root 2. The next one is, uh, this one was, I guess, 10, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is root 3, q, and minus uh, root 2, square. And uh, this was also 10, so root 3, square, and uh, minus root 2, q. And then uh, the next one was uh, 5 and uh, root 3 and minus uh, root 2, 4. And uh, this is uh, yeah 1 and minus root 2, 5. So we have written uh, the values of all these things. So what is uh, root 3, 5? So that would be root 3 uh, power 4 and then into 1, right? So what would be root 3 power 4? Root 3 power 4 would be 3 into 3, right? Yeah. So that is 9 root 3. And then, uh, yeah, so this value we already know, that is 9. And minus root 2. And then, uh, yeah, root 3 cube. So that would be root 3 square into root 3. Root 3 square is 3, so that would be 3 root 3, right? Mm -hmm. And then minus root 2 square, so that would be 2 only, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, root 3 square again, so that would be 3. And then uh, minus root 2 cube, so that would be how much? Root 2 square, so how, how much would be this thing? Root 2 uh, cube. 2 times 2 root 2. Yeah, absolutely correct. So 2 root 2. And then uh, this one is uh, 5 uh, root 3. And then, yeah, minus root 2, 4. How much would be this thing? Uh, 4 root 2. No, uh, no sorry, so uh, just 2. Just 2. Uh, just uh, 2. So that is root 2 square and root 2 square, right? 2 plus 2 is yeah. 4. So 2 into 2, that is 4, right? Yeah. So this is uh, 4. And then, uh, yeah, we can directly write it that that is minus 4 root 2, right? Mm -hmm. So this root 2 to the power 5 would be 4 root 2 because root 2, 4 is 4 and then into root 2. So 4 into root 2, right? Now let us uh, simplify this thing. So this is minus and 9 fives are 45 root 2. And then this is uh, how much? 6. So 60 root 3. And this is uh, how much? Uh, 6 and uh, 60 root 2. And then 20 root 3 minus 4 root 2. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, keep this. What was the, the question? Root 3. So we have to write root 3 first. 
So 9 root 3, 60 root 3, and then uh, 20 root 3. So 89 root 3, right? Uh, yeah. And then uh, minus uh, 45 root 2, 60 root 2. So all these are minus. So 5, 4, 9. And then uh, 10 plus uh, 10. Yeah, so 10. This uh, root 2, right? Is it correct? So 5, yeah, plus 4, uh, 9. And then uh, this is 60 plus uh, 40. So 100, 109, right? Uh... Oh, yeah. So did I? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. So five right, and uh, four, nine. Yeah. So 60 plus 105 and then four. So 109. Right. Oh, yeah. So this is, yeah, this is uh, the expansion, whatever we got. And now we can just write that uh, this is uh, A is 89 and uh, B is minus 109. Right. So that is uh, the answer. They were asking what? Oh, in the form of this thing. Yeah, so we have already written in the form of this thing. So no need to find out A and B. They are not asking A and B. Right. Yeah, so this is, uh, please uh, note it down. And if you have any doubt, please tell me. Okay, I wrote it down. Yeah, good. So now let us uh, do the next question. Okay. Yeah, so let's zoom this thing. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, the next question is that express root 2 minus 1 by root 5 and power 4 in the form of a plus uh, b root 10. Right, so we'll think about uh, that thing later, but let's expand this thing first right okay. so expansion would be 4c0 right and then root 2 4 and uh yeah this is one so and then 4c1 root 2 q and then minus of 1 by root 5 and power 1 right and then uh, 4c2 root 2, 2, and minus 1, root 5, 2. And then uh, the next one is uh, 4c3, root 2, and uh, minus 1 by root 5, 3. And last one is simply 4c4, and minus 1 by root 5, power 4. Right. This would be 1. So this is simply root 2, 4. And this is uh, how much? So this is simply four, right? Yeah. And then uh, the root two q and uh, minus one by root five, right? And uh, then uh, what do we have? So and then what do we have? Four c two. How much is four c two? So four uh, c two is, uh, I guess, n into n minus one by two. But let's calculate that. So 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial and 2 factorial. So this is 4, 3 into uh, 2 and 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So this is uh, 2, so 6, right? So mm -hmm. this is uh, 6. And then, yeah, uh, root 2, 4, and uh, minus 1 by root 5 uh, squared. Oh, 2, this is 2. And then uh, 4c3, how much is 4c3? So that is uh, 4, right? So 4 and uh, root 2 and minus 1 by root 5 
and uh, 3. And this is simply uh, minus 1 by root 5, 4. Right? Yeah. So what would be root 2 power 4? Uh, it would be 4. It would be 4, yeah. So this is 4. And then uh, this is uh, root 2 cube. So how much is this thing? 2 root 2. 2 root 2 and then minus uh, 1 by root 5. Right, so let's write minus 1 by root 5. And then this is 6 and 2. And uh, this is 1 by 5 only. Right. And then this is uh, 4 root 2. Right. And then minus 1 by, so this is minus 1 by 5 root 5. And uh, this is simply 1 by, this is uh, 25, right? Mm -hmm. but minus but plus. Okay, so this is uh, all right. So if we simplify this thing, so this is uh, 4 minus of 8 root 2 by uh, root 5. And then uh, this is uh, how much? This is uh, 12 by 5. And then this is minus 4 root 2 divided by, uh, how much is this thing? So this is 5 root 5. And then this is uh, 25. Right? Yeah. So these two have, uh, these two terms have uh, root in the denominator. So what do we need to do? Um. Not sure, actually. Yeah, so the root is in the denominator, so we rationalize it. Right. Okay. And how, how do we rationalize it? So we multiply by same quantity in both the sides, upstairs and downstairs. Okay. Right, so this is uh, 12 by 5. Same thing in here. Right, so 5 and, uh, root 5 and root 5. And then this is 1 by 25, right? So this thing is uh, 4 minus 5 into 5 is 5. So 8 by 5 and root 10, right? And then uh, 12 by 5. And then this is again root 10. And this is uh, 25 and uh, 1 by 25, right? So if we take the LCM, right? Well. This is not in, uh, we have to, yeah, A and B. So Q is a fraction, right? So, yeah, so that is uh, good. So we take uh, the non-root uh, things in one side and uh, there were root one in the other. So let's say that this is four plus 12 by five and plus one by 25, this one together and minus of 8 root 10 by 5 plus 4 root 10 by 5, 25, right? So the, the root ones together and the non-root ones together. Now, uh, we have to, these are all fraction terms, so we have to take the LCM. LCM would be 25. So 25 uh, into 4 plus five, uh, fives are 25, so 12 into five, and then one. And this is, uh, again, LCM is 25. So five fives are 25, so five is multiplied upstairs. And then, yeah, this is one only. So what do we have? This is uh, 100 plus 60 plus one, divided by 25. And minus this is uh, 40 plus 4 divided by 25. So this is 161 by 25 minus 44 root 10 by 25. So this is in the form of A minus uh, or plus B root 10, where your A is uh, 161 by 25 b is minus 44 by 25. So these are fractional terms, right, fractional numbers. So that was uh, the question that uh, they were asked, right? Mm -hmm.
Yeah, please uh, note this thing uh, down. Okay, I've written that down. Can you scroll down? Oh, so this part you were writing simultaneously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, where do I need to stop? Is this okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's enough. Okay, so Yeah, so this is an easy chapter, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um can can you just explain the next like topic to me before next oh next yeah. uh, topic. Yeah, there are other yeah. questions remaining, right? So, yeah. Yeah, these uh, okay, this one is uh, the same question. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, so yeah, we'll leave it and then uh, this yeah. one, ninth one. Ninth one is the application of uh, that thing. So yeah, let's uh, yeah. So yeah, let's do this uh, part and then uh, yeah, and then we'll yeah. understand the next one, right? So give me one. Give me one minute, please. Uh, yeah, sorry about this thing. Okay, so yeah, let us uh, do the next set of questions. Okay, yeah, the the next part is also the same, but uh, just there is a twist uh, in those uh, things. Mm -hmm. right? Just erase this thing completely. Okay, so uh, yeah, the next uh, part is so in the in this question we have to identify what is the value of uh, find the value of the following by choosing an appropriate value of x in the expansion of one plus uh, x n, right? So one plus uh, x n, right? This is a uh, and now we have to compare this thing with uh, this one. So the A part is NC0 minus 2 and uh, NC1 and then plus 4 NC2 and uh, minus 8 NC3 and so on. So can you see the pattern? Yeah. Can you see the So what, a, what should be the value of X? Uh... It should be two, right? Two, yeah. Please look at the, these uh, quantities as well, right? Uh, uh, yeah, minus two. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Good. So this would be, yeah. So if we expand, if we expand uh, one minus uh, two to the power n, right? That should uh, yeah. give us uh, this thing, right? So then one minus two is minus one and then minus one to the power n. So that is your answer, right? How, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so without solving these things, right? Without solving NC zero, NC one and all those things, you can just compare this with this expansion and you can solve it without uh, solving these uh, sums. 
right so yeah. yeah so the answer is there this one okay is it clear please note it down if it is uh, clear Okay, uh, how is it? What is my minus one n? There was this. So this is the expansion of one plus x n, right? Uh -huh. So one minus two is minus one, right? Mm -hmm. And then to the power n. So one okay, plus yeah, x. Yeah. Yeah. So you you saw that uh, we know we don't need to solve this long calculation, right? With binomial expansion, it becomes very easy. Okay. Yeah, I've written it down. Yeah, good. Uh, Yeah, so the next question, yeah, you try to find uh, the value of what should be the value of, or what should be, should be the value of this thing. Please uh, tell me. Uh, one, just positive one. One, so answer is one. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, it should be. Just think about this thing. You are correct. You are nearly there. Um, actually, I have a question. Uh, yes. In the yes. first one, yes, we yes. found that uh, x should be 2 in order for yeah, that minus two. to be right. yeah, minus, minus 2. two. But then uh, why have you written minus 1 to the power n? Like, what does that mean? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's, okay. Yeah, good, good. Whenever you have any kind of doubt, yeah. right, then, uh, yeah, please tell me. So it's good. Okay, so now let's uh, write this thing. 1 plus x. So this would be nc0, right? xn, mm -hmm. and then uh, nc1, and uh, xn minus 1. And then uh, this would be, n c two, right? X uh, n minus uh, two, and then uh, yeah, the it uh, no 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 not this one right? So this should be yeah. So the other way around, right? Yeah. So this would be yeah. So this is one to the power n and x zero, and then x. And then uh, this is nc two x square, nc three x cube, and uh, so on, right? Yeah. So now if I put uh, x equals two minus two, so this would be one minus two to the power n. This would be nc zero, and uh, nc one minus two, and then nc two minus two square and uh, nc3 minus 2q and uh, so on. So uh, if I solve this thing, this is this becomes nc0 minus 2nc1 and uh, plus 4nc2 and then uh, this becomes uh, minus 8nc3 and uh, so on. Right? Yeah. So this is uh, matching with this thing. Right? In the left hand side, so we have to find out this value. This is equal to what? This is equal to the left hand side. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have to solve, either we expand all these things and solve it, or we can just write, uh, what is the value? What is this value? So one minus two is simply minus one and then to the power n. This would be equal to whatever this uh, something is. Okay. Right. So this is the something that we want to find out. Right. 
in the question, this is the thing that they wanted us to find. What would be this sum? And uh, we okay. know that in the left hand side, this is this thing, right? Obviously, x value is minus two. We just solve this thing. So instead of solving the right hand side, which would be very troublesome, which would be very lengthy, we solve this left hand side, which is very easy to solve, right? There's one yeah. subtraction. So yeah, that is the idea of this question. Is it uh, clear to you? Yes. Okay, so yeah, so we have four minutes more and then we can talk about the next question. So it's the same thing, right? I would like uh, this uh, thing as well. So yeah, one plus xn is uh, nc0 and then nc1x and nc2x squared nc3x cube and uh, so on. And the question is uh, this one. So let me write the question. Question is that we have to find out this sum. So you tell me what should be. What is this thing in CR? Okay, whatever. Yeah, so what should be this uh, thing? So this should be in minus one, right? Yeah, in the middle we have some NCH. Yeah. Yeah, so how can you get the above part uh, with this uh, lower part? That is the question. Uh, if x is uh, 1? Absolutely correct. So if you, x is 1, right, then you solve the left-hand side. Instead of solving the right-hand side, you solve the left-hand side. Okay. So what would, be, what would be the value? If you solve the left-hand side, instead of solving this, let's say again, this is, let's say, some m. m. Yeah, so m, and this is 2m. Absolutely correct. So that is your answer. Okay. Clear. Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, so yeah, the next set of uh, I'm looking at this part because I have not looked uh, at uh, these uh, portions, right? So I guess we have yeah. to solve uh, the same thing, but uh, with a different methodology, right? So let's say we are solving now. Uh, we were solving the one plus x and then uh, the positive powers. Now we are solving uh, the negative powers, right? So uh -huh. let's say we want to solve uh, one by one plus let's say x to the power n, right? Yeah. So we know the property of, uh, we know the property of uh, the exponents and powers, right? So if I take this thing in the numerator, so power becomes negative. Right. Yeah. And then I solve uh, this uh, expansion, right? So then I solve this expansion and then uh, we'll get uh, the answer, right? So that is uh, what they are telling us in this uh, one. Clear? Yeah. Yeah, so that is, uh, yeah. So, and then you have to solve the binomial expansion of uh, for P by Q is given by the infinite series. Yeah, so that is, uh, Okay. Hmm. Oh, root. Good. Uh, so now uh, the same thing uh, we are doing, but uh, yeah, for uh, different uh, kinds of, uh, so one plus two X for mod X uh, less than one by two, right? So we are, we are uh, expanding one plus uh, two X to the power half, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, this one, one minus three X. So it, it is in the denominator. So, two by one minus three X. So we will expand one minus three X minus one. So same thing, right? Okay. So these are the question that you will have and yeah, we'll stop here. And uh, okay. we'll, uh, we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, meet tomorrow and then we'll discuss uh, the further questions, right? 
So up to okay, this okay. point, uh, yeah, up to this point you have done, right? You have completed up to this point in your school. Mm -hmm. And don't you want any revision of the previous? Because we have not, uh, with with me, you have not uh, done all these uh, previous things. So all these things are clear to you. Uh, yes. Oh, For good. The most uh, part. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then, yeah, let's... So, yeah. yeah I'll but, take uh, a few moments here. Sorry, Shanavas. Yes, I'll take yes. a few moments. I'm Shaista, uh, his same. mother. Um, yes, so, mother, same. See, he, he's, uh, he, he's good, but uh, I think, you know, he needs to improvise on doing more questions, right? So, yeah. uh, one is he'll ask questions for you from okay. the exercises here in this book. Okay. And uh, you did well today, all the questions, yeah. but uh, is it possible that he also, you let him also do and tell oh, you yeah. the answer, right? Uh, so yeah. that we know that he's, he's doing that and he's aware because otherwise he'll just follow what you are telling Oh, yeah, yeah. And the second, yeah, in the meantime, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So in the meantime, I was asking, uh, what would be this term? What would be this? Yeah. So I was just checking. Yeah, yeah. Here. That is there. I noticed. And one more thing is, is it possible that you have any work, uh, you know, items, uh, questions from outside oh, reference sources? questions? Yeah, okay. outside questions outside this book. Like he he has the book and he'll do from there. But what he struggles is like practice, right? Doing more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, extra no, questions he's not yes. uh, come across because in his school like uh, he's 